Hello and welcome to my channel. Usually when I record the moon, it's a uh, waxing moon. Meaning uh, it's the amount of the moon that is showing light is increasing. It's just after new moon, usually a waxing crescent is when you can get six to eight hours of footage with a cell phone. You know, it's not easy to get pictures of the moon with a cell phone. So... But there are times, and but this this time I actually caught a waning crescent for eight hours today, and that waning crescent was rolling like a tire, turning like a clock, cartwheeling, however you want to call it. It certainly isn't field rotation, nor is it supposed to do this. But I'm going to show you again. What I captured, it's pretty clear. All right, first video. Let's uh, let's just give you the details. Recorded today at basically 5 a.m. Now, as you can see, I have a structure proving orientation of the camera. Because turning a camera would really not do what we're talking about, anyways. Because then the structure would turn. So. That's why I include something. So proves camera orientation. Okay, so 5 a.m. I'm gonna pause it once I get up there. Okay, so I went up. See the bottom right is the cell phone tower. It's flat, it's just, that's its light flashing. Now, it's, it's not a great picture of the moon, but it's what I could get with this camera on my cell phone. Um, you can see the Terminator line the light shadow line. If you run a line between tip to tip on this waning crescent, you would could say it's pointing at 10, 10 and 4. Okay? Now, if you like the first time seeing this moon cartwheeling, uh, this is going to be an easy proof video. I cover everything. Um, Oh, also, as you can see, the orientation of the Terminator line says, uh, since it's a waning, waning moon at this point, this is fairly northern hemisphere, but eh, kind of leaning a little bit from my location here in Virginia, nowhere near the equator or the Tropic of Cancer. All right, so northern hemisphere, yeah. Okay, just going to continue the video on down as I, I capture it, and then I scroll, point back down to the, the, the building structure, as you can see. So, proving camera orientation. All right, so that's 5 a.m. Pause, and let's show the details. Today, 7.05. Let's play. Okay, we got structures in the video, trees, of course. Now, as you can see, like I said earlier, if you connected the crescent points and ran a straight line through them, you could say that it is now pointing at 11 and 5. And that in two hour time. So that's, uh, you know, maybe 15 degrees, you know, around there. 12, 15, maybe even 18. But, you know, librate, moon libration is only 7 degrees, uh, and that happens throughout the month. This is an hourly change that I recorded today. This, that's a whole month of wobble. I'm not, excuse me, a whole month of, of libration times 2 in one hour. Okay, so if you want to say libration, that's one hour. And <clears throat> 60 days of libration in one hour, if you want to, that's what I mean. Okay, so let's just continue the video on down. As you can see, camera orientation. Now, that little snap at the end is my phone. Like, it's, it's a uh, Samsung A51. And it has like three cameras on it. So, 
each camera does a different amount of, of zoom. So when you go from one time zoom down to zero, it's switching a camera. So that's why it's jumping down at the bottom, like right, boom, right there. So in the other videos, I just stopped zooming it back before then. So it's not an issue. Okay. So, oh, let's just show this one more time just to be clear. So we agree. I could say 11 and 5. I'm sure people could agree with that. Okay. Now, that's pretty much more towards the moon I'm used to. You know, the orientation a little bit more towards 12 from my location. And I've lived in the basically the same latitude my whole life in the country. Utah, except for area, a little few months, in, uh, a few years in Illinois. That's a little north, but... Now I'm in Virginia, but 10 years in Utah, you know, 21 again back in in Virginia. So let's go on to the next video. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Pause. Let's show the video details. 11 a.m. today. This is raw, my raw footage. I'm just screen recording. Wow, this uh, thumbnail of the video is pretty telling, but let's continue with the video. I started zooming in, I guess. But it, either way, I zoom back out and show, show everything. See, structures, proving there's, yeah, there's the jump, and zoom. And I, yeah, probably... Yep, zoom back in just to show it. Okay. We've got a dramatic change here from uh, 7 to 11. So we're looking at four hours. Now, again, draw the line between the crescent points. And you could say we're looking at <clears throat> two, and, 2 and 8, right? I think everyone could agree that. Some may say that is field rotation, but no. Field rotation, we are doing naked eye observing. How am I going to input a field rotation correction algorithm formula into my brain? You know, to correct field rotation. That's because it's not field rotation. Okay? Field rotation is for <clears throat> tracking an object through the sky so that it stays in the field of view so that you can continue recording it and maintain focus hopefully okay that's what field rotation and the correction of uh, the equatorial mount that's all it does it compensates for earth rotation but we are doing naked eye observing still uh, cameras you know still camera shots uh, none of that applies to us so we're not doing long-term exposures or where we need to track an object. We have feet and necks. We can just turn our body. So, field rotation is not what's going on here. All right. It has five seconds left, so let's just let it go. Okay. Next video. Pause. Details, 1.24 p.m. today. Play. We got structures, everything proving orientation. The moon's lower in the sky now, so it's uh, pretty easier to capture. I don't have to move the camera up so high. I guess I failed pretty miserably on that one, but that's okay. I did another one. Yeah, it was a minute later. That was the second attempt to record. Okay, well, between <clears throat> 11 and 1, there wasn't much more rotation. But as you all saw, we had clockwise rotation of the moon. Now, one thing I want to point out is right there, my moon, from the northern, anywhere in the northern hemisphere north of the tropic of cancer 
because then we're out of equatorial, you know, equatorial, tropical, and subtropical. We are way above. So anybody in the United States should never, ever, ever see the moon looking like this. This is an equatorial moon, meaning someone who lives in the equator or close to, you know, a subtropical area, close to the Tropic of Cancer, but still south of it, more towards the equator, in between the equator. That's how they see this moon. That's how they see it. But see, the only way I can see that from Virginia is for me to tr get on a plane and fly south. That's And then the moon will look like that if I flew to, you know, the, somewhere on the equator and then, you know, I flew back home the next day. I mean, the same day. So that's what equatorial views of the moon meaning. Uh, you can navigate by the way, tell you where you are on the planet, at least roughly by just knowing which way, whether it's waxing and waning and how the Terminator line is oriented. It will tell you where you, where you are on the planet. That's a known fact. That's backed up by millions of websites navigating by the moon, how to observe the moon. Why is the moon us upside down in Australia versus the United States? Uh, because it's equatorial view of the moon. Well documented. It's a fact. Okay, but I'm seeing the moon roll clockwise for me in eight hours, moving from... <clears throat> 10, 10 to 4 to 2 to 8. Now we're talking uh, over 90 degrees. That's over, over 90 degrees of orientation change uh, from our point of view of Earth. That's not a mystery. It's our point of view. That's how we see the moon. That's hemisphere-specific views. Okay. So I'm not feeding anybody any BS. I mean, I'm proving every step of the way. This is raw footage. I got structures. You can look up hemisphere-specific views of the moon by latitude, and you're going to find out the same information that I did. <clears throat> There's millions of websites that will back that up. So I don't want to see comments, oh, it's field rotation or, or it's libration. No, sorry, I've already explained how it's not. And that's verifiable by a simple Google search, just like everything I, I have explained here. Just that this is a waning crescent. Waning means that the lighted area is getting smaller or the darker area is getting larger. I don't remember how they explain it. Either way, it's correct. Okay, but as my point is, this is an equatorial view of the moon someone in South America that's how they see the moon not in Virginia so I'm not flying down there every day just so I can see the moon roll no I'm just sitting chilling out not going anywhere and yet I can record it so it's the first time you've seen a video like this you need to go out it's gonna to be tough right now because the since it's a waning, waning moon, it's losing, you know, it's headed towards new moon. So you may have to, you may want to wait a week. And then in the evening, we're going to have a waxing moon again. And it's going to be visible. And then you can see this basically at an hourly rate. We had over 90 degrees of rotation in eight hours. And if you look up any fact about the moon, lunar phases, everything will tell you exactly how it all works. And don't give me the flat earth model crap either because you can't explain something that is well documented with a theory. It, it's already documented. You can't make it work in your theoretical model, okay? It, it, that's just not how it works. All right, so I'm not dogging anybody. That's their beliefs but not on this channel. Very clearly a globe. I can see with my own eyes. I don't need 
anybody to tell me. I can look up the information. I can see it. I can touch it. I can see this moon. Verifiable. I'm giving it to you because everyone can see this. No equipment required. It's not fluff. It's verifiable and proven. Okay. I have blabbered enough. But, you know, I was excited. I, I needed to get a video out. I had, you know, I got the footage today and I got motivated. And I'm going to get, I got the video out for y'all. So again, if you are new to this, this has been going on for 10 years. Since at least October 2010. And it means the Earth is tilted over. So that our perception of the moon is changing hourly now instead of daily or nightly. Should I, I should never see a moon change. It's per, how I see it at an hourly rate. Never, ever, ever. Never. Vibration, no. Field rotation, no. I'm old enough to know the common sense. I've seen the moon enough. I know it wasn't doing this before. And it's very clearly doing it now. So, if you disagree with everything, then hey, that's your choice, but it's pretty clear. It's pretty undeniable. The information's verifiable. So, a simple Google search. Okay, three Google searches and you'll have all the information you need to know about this, whether this should do this or not. The choice is yours but it's doing it. All right. I'm going to give a shout out to my boy, Angry Catfish Briggs, a.k.a. Eric Briggs. If you have not heard of his channel, I suggest you go look him up. Angry Catfish Briggs. I'm sure I will have a... Well, no, because I'm uploading this on my phone. But if you go to any of my other videos, there's going to be a link to his channel. And I suggest you start... You sort his videos from the oldest first... And start there. Video one. I mean, there's so much information there. You, I mean, it's definitely worthwhile. It's a lot of videos. Most of them are, f well, no, none of them are more than 15 minutes long. None of them. Not one. It's over 15 minutes because he uses the free player recorder and that's all he gets and that's all you, that's all you need. 15 minutes at a time most of them are less do yourself a favor and do those videos and then you won't really need you'll have all your answers all your questions answered sorry and then you can move forward and you'll actually start to piece this all together and it all makes sense and it's like oh wow Love it. All right. Go look them up. Hold us first. Don't stop until you're done. Laters.